All right, so it's not too hard to remove this. Just two mounting bolts and those two lines I already loosened those up and I'm gonna take this bad boy out and put a trash bag right there so the brake fluid can drain into this trash bag and not all over the place. There she is. Carefully take it out because it's gonna be dripping some brake fluid. And yeah, this is the bad boy we'll be replacing. We're gonna reuse the uh, master cylinder or reservoir though. All right, now I'm cleaning the back seat. It's super dirty and nasty, so I'm gonna actually be taking this one out and shampooing this, but I'm doing the back seat right now. So I'm cleaning that one now, but then I'll take this uh, lower portion out. Okay, so I took off this wheel and this is where the noise was coming from. Something is going on for sure. So I gotta take it out. Parking brake is released and we'll try to see what's going on. All right, so I have the drum out. It was a pain, but when I took it out, all these pieces are just, were just falling out. It was insane. I don't know who was here. Somebody maybe was messing, didn't know how to put it all in. And uh, yeah, look, this is what happened. Yeah, this is uh, some, it's got some damage here. So this uh, backing plate should be replaced as well. Unfortunately, everything is damaged. All this is bent, so it's gonna need new parts. But at the moment, what I think we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of put it all back together without the brake assembly on this side. And we're just gonna block off this wheel. So basically, it's gonna have no brakes on this wheel until we can get the parts and all that. And in the meantime, I'll probably just replace this backing plate and all that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, but definitely needs a lot of love. I don't know how this whole thing happened, but that really sucks. So just adjusted the bearing preload. There's no play in the wheel. I'm gonna put the dust cap back on. Okay, now we'll be cleaning this back. See whatever's underneath of this. Okay, we're ready to install the seat. I cleaned it up as much as I could. It looks so much better now. You can install the bottom cushion. <laughs> broke it's just stuck in there even though i was soaking it in pv blaster and all that and uh this side i was able to do this side so there's a brand new bulb in there it's working turn signal now i just have to finish dealing with this one i'm gonna install these brand new bulbs as well i'm gonna go right there so i also cleaned up this uh brake fluid uh reservoir it's really nice and clean now. It used to be really nasty. So this side is being a real pain. I can't take this bulb out. It's just really stuck in there. So I'm trying my best. But yeah, there she is guys. She's all ready. So here's a recap. While we're looking for these turn signal uh, lamps, just kind of taped it up. I know it's not the best, but it's gonna be a temporary fix with a tape and I installed new bulbs right there the little ones okay this one I'm still working on it's still soaking this thing's stuck but this bulb was replaced uh, we got new master cylinder right there everything is bled the brakes are bled so I'm just gonna uh, have to still rinse it off right there with water I'll, I'll do that in a little bit but yeah there she is and then this is the interior. This is still wet a little bit, okay, but 
interior is actually really really nice now comparing to how it was she is amazing car and then the car also included a bunch of parts with the car okay the floor mats right there too the back seat was also taken out and cleaned All right guys, so it's been about a week and I received a bunch of parts for this Mazda 323. However, my friend already bought this car from me, uh, but I'm gonna help him with some stuff uh, still. I'm gonna include a bunch of parts for this car. This car runs and drives and everything. It actually has brakes right now, except for this wheel right there. Cause uh, we decided, I told him like, we should probably replace the whole thing. Like the drum brakes in the back and disc brakes in the front and brake pads and all that stuff. So also suspension needs some work. So that's why I'm including, including a bunch of stuff and parts with this car. So these are some of the parts for this car, which is two uh, pedal pads for the clutch and brake pedal because those are worn out. Uh, there's also a radiator cap uh, right there. There's a bunch of seals for the where the bearings are. Also, we have stabilizer links for the front. And uh, like I told you, these seals, they're actually for uh, the bearings. The way they're designed is, uh, you know, they're actually like tapered bearings in the front and they have inner and outer seals. Uh, so that's really interesting, you know, the way things are. So to replace the brake discs in the front on this car is actually a pain. It's a huge pain, but that's why I just ordered all that. And I'll show you the rest of the parts too. All right, guys, let's look at this car. It's a really cute car. I finished detailing it on the inside. Uh, you know, it's not perfect, but I, I did a lot of work on the interior of this car. And I also like just slightly washed the exterior of this car, put some beautiful tire shine on, pumped up the tires, did a lot of stuff to it. Uh, these turn signal uh, lamps, I just kind of taped them up right now and installed new bulbs on both sides, uh, you know, while we're waiting on, uh, you know, the actual uh, lens to get here. We have to still, still have to find that and order it. And then also cleaned up all the seats on the inside. As far as the exterior, just did a bunch of cleanup, uh, cleaned behind this gas cap. It was really dirty. Uh, lubricated a bunch of stuff, uh, door locks, hinges, uh, hood latch and all that. Also had these taken out and uh, I cleaned them, I sanded them, the uh, wiper arms, and I re, uh, repainted them and reinstalled the wiper blades themselves. They're okay. They're still good. That one's actually brand new. So, so everything is good there. Uh, also just touched up some of the plastic trim with, uh, you know, black trim restorer and all that. Make it nice. Remove the stupid uh, roof rack. Uh, that's gone thank god and also this ornament is gone thank god it's got to put some grease here so it doesn't start rusting those holes and then yeah like i said my friend is currently owning this car um and he's going to take care of it. he's going to drive he mainly wanted this car to learn stick shift and this car has 319,000 miles it's amazing it's such an amazing car sorry guys i've been saying amazing a lot in, on my channel but that's how it is you gotta love and appreciate these amazing old school cars That car. <laughs> there she is, happy and alive. Mazda 323. Amazing machine. All right, guys, this is the next day and I opened the hood and let's look at the damage. This is what's going on and the water pump. This is the water pump. So much play in the water pump bearing and it's what it caused the belt to come off and get shredded like that. Uh, I checked the rest of the pulleys. The rest of the pulleys are fine. 
this one's just making a noise. The Adler pulley alternator. I replaced this alternator. I'll just uh